What's up, guys? Today we're going to be swapping out disc rotors, going from a 180 down to a 160. Hang tight, I'm going to show you the quick, easy, and dirty way to change out your rotors. I took the 180 out to Bailey to go do some mountain biking in the mountains and some downhill stuff. And this wheel is off the bike that almost killed me. So, yeah, whatever. So, we're swapping back to the 160 to put it back on the bike that I stole it off of. Quick, easy, and dirty way is going to be with an electric drill. Ideally, you would want to use an impact driver, which I do not have. I just have a standard electric drill with a torque setting. Uh, we're going to set that really low to put the disc back on. And I went and picked this up from Harbor Freight. It was seven bucks, and we we're going to be using the G25 Torx today. We're going to be working with a six bolt rotor setup today. As the name implies, it's got six bolts, not to be confused with center lock, which this is not. I've got one wheel with these, so we're not worried about this today. So like I said, quick, easy, dirty way, T25 Torx drill. To get them off, you don't have the Torx set really low. I've got it actually set kind of high, but you will fairly gentle with it. Break each of these loose. These were put on with a torque wrench, so I did put them on correctly ahead of time. these broken loose and I'm just going to spin them off nice and gently. This thing lined up correctly. Speed you up through this part. And there we go. This is the So like I said, we are going from 180 back down to 160. It's a pretty big jump, but this is Florida. This is going out the rear. I don't think it's even really. Keep this patient a little bit less of my concern. So make sure when you put these on, directional rotation is usually printed on here. Got a nice little arrow here. And it's usually where it's facing out. Slide that on there. And this is where we go down and we set that fork. Sorry about the clicks. Nice and low, so that's pretty low, but we're gonna go all the way down for now. Make sure when you get these on, I'd recommend starting them by hand, making sure that you don't cross thread. I've been practicing for a while, I go on nice and gently. Don't do what I do, don't touch the rotor. There we go. And one more. Now we've got the rotor on nice and tight, we can go ahead and speed this up to get these nice down. I'm gonna up the torque just a bit. Before I ride this bike, I'm actually going to take a torque wrench to these. Um, mostly because I forget what I used to run this on. What I did before was I'd find a torque and get the drill close to that torque. Usually a little bit less rather than a little bit over. But for now, we're going to set up to... Let's call it 5. Close to 5 millimeters, it probably isn't, but I'm just going to go through, torque them all down. So let's go ahead and speed up through this real quick so I can get these set. There we go. It's as easy as that. Six bolts off, new rotor on, six bolts on, thread one by hand. Finish it off with a drill or an impact driver. If 
finally torque it down. I don't have my torque wrench with me tonight, but I will torque these before I arrive. My bikes are currently in storage right now. Uh, also due to, I'm gonna call it winter time, but I live for it. Hopefully this video helped some of you out in one way, shape or form. Same procedure for the front wheel. Do a quick little recap, six bolts out. New rotor on, six bolts back in, torque them to spec. Using the drill, make sure that torque is down pretty low. If you're using an impact driver, just get it on until they're snug and then use a torque wrench after. Like I said, I don't have my torque wrench with me today, but I will torque these again before I ride this bike. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it helped some of you out. Please remember to like, subscribe, and comment. And for a Tech Tuesday playlist, click up here. For a, I don't know, it seems fun to you guys. Grapefruit Trail? Yeah, Grapefruit Trail. I like riding there. That's going to be right here. And there should be a subscribe button somewhere here in the middle. As always, thanks for pedaling with me.